The first game jitters are gone now, Dick. Both of these teams are looking to settle into their comfort zone in this second round matchup between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Texas Arlington Mavericks. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like an m, &M but you never know if they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Mavericks are looking at an uphill climb tonight, Dick. What are the keys to victory for them? Here are my keys for them, Brad. First of all, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Next, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. Third, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Both teams looking to get things going here. And up. Great play to take that to the basket. Number three receives the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. High post screen. So effective that screen. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Problem with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble. Well you got to get help because you got to see ball man blocked. And the ball goes out of play. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Makes the shot. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. The Mavericks have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Fakes the shot. He goes with a baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the inside, looking for the foul. Number 13 with a finger roll. Dumps it in. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Great anticipation. That's great court savvy to get in the way of that pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Looking for a good shot. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. Hits that one. And he got a move. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. For 
for two. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. They look to get it to the inside. Here's a double team. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost well, some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Gave it up. Number three is feeling good. Hey, whether you win or lose, you shouldn't be afraid to show your emotions. The small forward handles the pass. Texas Arlington are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Try to go inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Wide open for the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He hits it. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler, the Big Vital, and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. Jumps in. Got to make that baby have that wide-open angle and a chance to lay it on a glass with an easy boost. Trying to feed inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Boy, terrible execution on offense. Number one, handles the feed. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Number three makes a great move to draw the foul. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Number three to the line, shooting two. First one, good. Second one, no good. Takes the board. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. He makes a nice shot fake. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. There's the fake. There's a double team waiting there. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident they're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. He goes to the free throw line. First one is good. Texas Arlington are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Second shot, no good. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. The point guard receives the pass. Number one draws the personal. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. The Golden Gophers are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. It's the first. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Steals a pass. The dribble gives it up. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity. 
A lot of emotion. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork getting him to the spot. Pushing that basketball. Now they work it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. That's good. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Every college coach in America would love a player like him, Mr. Nesla. Steal. They get out on the break. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little tipsy dude, Doug Carew. Tries for two. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Minnesota are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they're gonna keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Entry pass in the paint. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Gave it up. He shoots from outside. Shots off the mark. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fakes the jumper. Now the turnaround jumper. Way off target. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Working it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Perfectly executed. Bucket and off the mark. The Mavericks have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Great screen set up, but the shot won't go. They work it around the perimeter. From left of the circle. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. For two, in and out. He gets the rebound. They move it into the front court. The skip pass is picked off. Definitely a foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, it's still close, and it's very early, but there needs to be some sense of urgency on the favorite's bench tonight so this one doesn't get out of hand, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Intercepted. Goes up for two. He's money with the shot.
Ties for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Moving it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's dead. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. Number 23 sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. Pump fakes. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Number 23 grabs it. For the bucket, he gets the shot to fall. Gave it up. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Up and inside. Fires away. Off the rim and no good. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Looking for a good shot. From right at the circle, way off target. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Double team now, bad angle. With a little baby hook, they still don't score. There's the trap. And they get the turnover. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Basket falls despite the contact. for a good shot. Ooh, look at the shot block. We've got some contact. Nice hops. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. Makes a great move to draw the foul. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. He hits the first. Hits two at the charity strike.
Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Up fake. Turnaround jumper. Minnesota are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. He up fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. On the outside. Dump it inside. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. to get the D to bite. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Here they go into transition. Nope. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration in that possession, Brad. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. He gets it to go. Fakes the shot. For two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Look at that spacing. Jumps into the defender. Texas Arlington. Arlen, nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He unloads a three. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear starting from the air. <laughs> that spin move's not going to work against this deep. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The ball goes out of play. Post flashes for the ball handler. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Here's a flash from the high post. Trying to draw the foul. The land. Watch this again. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby.
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So you're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And we got a whistle and a foul. Number 13 walking back out onto the floor. He needs to get himself warm playing defense first before he starts to think about offense. Gets it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Count it. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. And he'll kick it back outside. He unloads. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Attempts the Hail Mary. Way off target. At halftime, the Mavericks lead by three. Dick, what would you say is the play of the half in this tightly knit affair? Check out some of the inside play. We witnessed in the first half. We saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Minnesota carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coaching staff must be living right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. I smell upset, Brad. What do you think? I wouldn't rule it out, that's for sure. We've got a team who has nothing to lose and another that has everything to lose. Long arms trying to get in in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big, the guy really is tough to deny him the ball. That deserves an encore. Let's watch it here. He intercepts it. circle off the rim and no good on the dribble gives it up puts up the shot rims out the point guard takes the pass and working around the perimeter the shooting guard with the ball he shoots from left of the circle he doesn't get the hoop to fall Work it around the arc. Goes up for two. And he missed. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Great anticipation for the rejection. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Number one with the foul. First personal foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Picked off. The 
point guard takes the feed. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Number 23 draws the personal. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Hits his second. The Golden Gophers are down by eight. For the deuce, perfectly executed. Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. Looking for a good shot. He takes the shot from the baseline. He takes another bad shot. That shot's killed chemistry, Brad. The center gets the pass for two. In and out. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. The center gets the ball. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. And he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Great block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Tries for two. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. They're working around the perimeter. Let's it fly. And Dick, the shooting woes continue from behind the arc. Hey, that's a couple in a row now with them come up empty. He makes the block. He gets the bucket. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Up, easy one. And a momentary look from three-point land. He launches a three. He makes the shot. The Golden Gophers trail by 13. Jumps in. Finger roll. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And in and out. Picks off the lazy pass. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Side. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. For the bucket. Rims out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Texas Arlington is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Picks off the pass. Up and 
inside. Number 33 is called for the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? The post flashes up high if he wants it. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He pulls down the rebound. And they come with a double team to stop it. With the fake, number 23 is charged with the foul. Got a man in high post. He tries the three. Oh, he's going to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> Time for the ball in the deck. Where's he going? Top of the circle. They work it around. The, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he missed. He shoots from the top of the key. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They work the perimeter. Leans in. Number 23 makes the finger roll. Now the turnaround jumper. They let him get into a rhythm. Gave it up. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Great shot. The Mavericks lead by 14. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Double team. Can't get the shot to go. Jumped in front to take it away. Full court pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Got a wide open look. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Got the bucket and the foul. He made a statement on that play, baby. Ain't backing down is his cry. 
Number 23 steps out onto the court. Hey, they can't go too long without his presence like me. I can't go long without you. Hits that one. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Now they'll bring it up. Looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Dick and Brad, there was a question coming into tonight's matchup. Are the favorites worthy of their ranking? From their performance so far tonight, it looks as if the naysayers were right. All right, thanks, Aaron. There's a double team waiting there. Kicks it out. From three-point range. Way off target. Look at that spacing. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Picked out of the air. In all alone, there's a slam. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely, getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He's got some room. On the outside, they're working around the arc. He shoots from the top of the circle. He misses from the outside. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. The ball goes out of bounds. Post flashes for the opportunity. Intercepted. Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance to really to win. Up and inside. He fires from long range. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Knocks it home and won. What a poor job defensively. Nobody stopped the penetration of the ball. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Oh, oh Mr. Nestle, that's a no-no. Number 13 to the line. Just like in practice. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. And in and out. Takes the pass in the paint. He attempts the trifecta off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. He looks for three. He gets it to go.
Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. They work it around the perimeter. Up and inside. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Takes away the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special art, feeding the post. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Minnesota have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. We'll take the shot. He's money with a shot. him in the paint but went elsewhere block shot gonna take some pride on the defensive end goes up strong but that's an offensive foul on oh, a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot mr nestler Super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Transition opportunity coming up for the deuce. Finger roll. two can't get the shot to go and there's a look at the foul situation so far hey no when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have coaches should always be communicating this with their teams at the free throw line first shot good they're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win Gets the second shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Well, Dick, let's take a look at the bench performances so far. What do you think? I tell you, as a coach, the more you can get from your bench players, the better. Sometimes that's how you acquire a big lead. Games get interesting once your starters get tired, and it's time for the bench players to come in and be productive. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. There's the pick. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Minnesota have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. On the outside, they'll work it around the arc. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock. Didn't they? they have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. Stops 
standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. And the clock stopped with a foul. He is going to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. He makes the second. Timeout. The second slowly ticking away here, Dick. Hey, they've got a tremendous lead if they want to have a chance to win this thing. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. On the outside. He looks for the bomb. They got a foul quickly here. They can make it very interesting with a score here. I need to see that again in slow-mo. Another foul. Nobody likes this part of the game, and the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. He can't buy one. He brings it down. Cross court. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. Well, Dick, it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. He misses it. This is where you really need a bucket to have a chance. Look at that space. Shoots from the outside. He gets the bucket to fall. Wow, and that stops the clock again. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Both free throws go. We got a timeout on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, thanks, Aaron. To the live action we go. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard New York. Kicks it out. From top of the circle. Nice shot. Dick, they're really going to have to regroup. This is a big shock, I'm sure, to their fans and the coaching staff. They got to find a way to come back because they weren't what they expected. Well, I think what happened, Brad, they really weren't focused. And right now, this is a win of the reality. I think they start getting a little cocky, maybe reading their press clippings. And now, maybe they'll say to themselves, you know what? We better come to play and we better be ready. And I think that starts with practice. Texas Arlington found themselves in a heck of a battle before pulling away at the end. The team has got to feel good about a win like this. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.